Hello, this is the Bible in Fewer Words. We are Carol and Steve Wells. This is episode 12, Genesis chapter 27. When Isaac was old and blind, he called for Esau and said to him, Go hunting so I can eat some savory meat. After I eat, I'll bless you before I die. Rebecca overheard their conversation and told Jacob about it. She said to Jacob, Go get two goats and I'll cook your father a savory meal. And then he'll eat and bless you before he dies. I think I've read enough there for right now. <laughs> yeah. So Isaac is worried he's going to die. And he has to do give his blessing before he dies. Is that right? Yeah. And the blessing goes to the firstborn or whoever he chooses. Yeah, we had that thing. They were twins. Oh, that's right. And so um, we had one come out first, which was Esau. Mm-hmm. But Jacob was holding on to his heel, to oh. Esau's heel. Oh. But still, Esau came out first, so he's the firstborn. So he should get the blessing. Okay, it seems kind of silly, doesn't it? It does. It seems silly, but it's a it's a big deal in okay. the Bible. And they are fraternal twins, not identical. Yes. Because one is red and hairy. Hairy all over, and the other guy is smooth. Okay. Uh, uh, Jacob is smooth. Yeah, I'm, we're going to find out here that he's smooth in more than one way. Like, yeah. he's just kind of slimy. Yeah, he and, he and his mom. He and his yeah. mom together. Yeah. All right, so she has a favorite. And Isaac has a favorite. Yeah, and and Isaac is is old, blind, and hungry, and he wants some food. So go out. He's telling Esau who's his favorite because mm-hmm. he likes to eat his venison. Yes. She's scheming with Jacob here. She wants him to have the blessing. Yeah. So Jacob, I'll, I'll take over here. This is verse 11 and 12. Jacob replied, Esau is hairy, and I am smooth. He'll feel my skin and know it isn't. It's me, not Esau. Then I'll get a curse, not a blessing. Rebecca said, "Don't worry about that. The cursing will be on me. Just go fetch the goats." So, so she is conniving to, um, what's the word? To trick, yeah, Isaac. Yeah. Into giving the blessing to Jacob. Yeah, and she says, if there is a cursing because you're tricking him, th- that cursing will be on me, so don't worry about it. Well, that is very bizarre. Yeah. Because, you know, curse, curses could be kind of dangerous in, in the Bible. They can be. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so Jacob did as his mom told him, and his mom fixed a savory meal. Rebecca took some of Esau's clothes and put them on Jacob. She also put goat skins on his hands and neck. Then she gave the meal to Jacob and sent him to Isaac. Jacob lied to his father, saying, I am Esau, your firstborn. I have killed and cooked some venison for you. Now eat so you can bless me. Um, Okay, so uh, what kind of goat skins on his hands so that he can be hairy? And I guess Isaac is blind. on his neck, too. Oh, and on his neck. So he... Um, and she also had him wear some of Esau's clothes. So he'd have kind of the smell of Esau, too. Oh, yeah. That is... Because um, he's blind. He can't he, see him. He doesn't so he see can... well. I guess he's pretty much blind, yeah. He has to rely on his other senses. Mm-hmm. All right. So he is um, tricking his father to say, give me the blessing. Here's some venison. Yeah. All right. And uh, in verse 21, Isaac says, Come near so I can feel you to see if you're really Esau. The voice is Jacob's, but the hands are Esau's. But the hairy hands fooled him, so he blessed Jacob, thinking it was Esau. Isaac wasn't completely convinced that he blessed the right son, so he asked, Are you Esau? Jacob lied again, saying, Yes, I am. Isaac ate the meat and drank some wine. Then he asked Jacob to come and kiss him. When Jacob kissed Isaac, his goatskin-covered hands smelled like Esau. 
So now he was sure that Jacob was Esau. And he blessed him, saying, May God give you the dew of heaven, the fatness of the earth, and plenty of grain and wine. Let people serve you, and your brother and nations bow down to you. Cursed be everyone who curses you, and blessed be whoever blesses you. So... It's kind of a standard blessing. Yes. We went into that before. Whoever curses you is cursed. Whoever blesses you is blessed. I was talking about Ab- talk- God talking to Abraham, but uh-huh. kind of the same thing goes here for Jacob, I guess, because it should be. He thinks he's he thinks he's blessing Esau. Esau, but he's actually, I guess, blessing Jacob. Seems like the intention should count more than the fact. Yes, and but, why wouldn't you just say you lied to me? I'm not gonna. Um... Yeah, well, no. This, this this when this when a when a guy I guess uh, gives his blessing, it's a it's a blessing no matter what. I mean, you you can't you can't change it. So if you yeah. fool him, it works. I guess so, which is pretty awful. And I guess if you're fooling him, you're fooling God too, or or something, because it's really <laughs> God's blessing that's that's going through Isaac. Yeah, it seems like anyway. It does seem silly. So this is verse three. Thirty. 30, yes. Mm-hmm. After Isaac was tricked into blessing Jacob, Esau returned from his hunting trip. He brought a savory meal he prepared for his father and asked for his blessing. So I expect that he's in the kitchen with his mom <laughs> saying, hey, I've got this venison. No, Would you cook up another meal, mom? No, re, re, no. I, I think he did this all on his own, thinking that Isaac hadn't eaten. He didn't know anything about that, mm-hmm. that, that, that he'd already eaten, that they'd fed him already. And he probably thought that was part of the kind of tradition. I'm going to fix him. That. You know, I went and hunted and got this oh, yeah. favorite food. Isaac and asked him, for him. Isaac asked him to go go get him some and yeah. cook him up a savory meal. So he's done that and brought it back, and now he's expecting his blessing. Okay. His confused father asked him, well, Who are you? And Esau answered, Well, I'm Esau, your firstborn. Isaac trembled and said, Who? Where's the guy that I just blessed and who fed me venison? Esau, with a bitter cry, said, Bless me too, father. Isaac gave Esau the bad news. Your brother stole your blessing. And Esau said, Well, it figures. First he stole my birthright and now my blessing. Yeah, and remember he stole his birthright with that bowl of lentil soup. Oh, yes, he did. That that Jacob, he's just a rotten apple. Well, yeah. I mean, he's, he's definitely he he definitely is a tricky guy. And to have his mother kind of you know. And his mom's involved. Complicit yeah, in this. Yeah. One thing that, that that strikes me in reading all of these stories is the deception that is seems to be approved both by the Bible and by God. Yeah. When God tells Abraham directly, in one case. To go ahead and tell the, tell the I think it was the Pharaoh, that uh, Sarah is your your sister instead of your wife, deceiving the Pharaoh and then th- and then threatens the Pharaoh and all of his people. Yeah, that for blows me away it. because God. I mean, here's God, righteous yeah. God, honest. And you that know. was God directly telling Abraham. In this case, God seems to be going along with the deception, because God makes it clear uh, in the Bible explicitly later in Malachi and in the New Testament and Romans that God hated Esau. Really? Yeah. Hated just flat out says hated Esau. And doesn't give a reason why no reason he hated is given. Esau. No reason is given. And from the behavior of Esau, you would think that Esau would be a sympathetic uh, character that didn't do anything wrong. He was just trying to get his fa- do his, what his father asked him to do. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. That's very bizarre. So I can't remember where we were. Were we on... um... Right here. Now my blessing. He stole his uh, birthright and now his blessing. Okay. So in verse 37, Isaac replied, Yes, it's too late. My blessing made Jacob your lord and master. He gets all the wine and grain. There's nothing left to give you. Esau wept and said, So you only have one blessing, father? Bless me, too. Isaac gave him more of a prediction than a blessing. You'll live off the fatness of the earth and the dew from heaven. 
You'll live, live by the sword and you'll serve your brother. And someday you'll be free of him. Esau hated Jacob for stealing his blessing. He vowed to kill him after Isaac's death. Rebekah told Jacob about Esau's threat, saying, Esau wants to kill you, so go to my brother's place in Haran. I'll let you know when it's safe to come back. Okay. And that's the end of the story. That's the end of the story. And someday he'll be free of him. Free of Jacob. You're going to serve your brother Jacob. Kind of like a slave, I guess, to your brother Jacob. Um, so it looks like uh, he is not happy about it, and he hates his brother mm -hmm. to, for yeah, doing that. Right. Um, but, you know, I, I would be too. Yeah, and Rebecca is sending him all the way back to where she came from, which is back in Mesopotamia. So far away. Far away. Okay. Yeah, so he's, he's going to go back there where she came from and hang out until she tells him it's safe to come back. So she'll send a messenger or something. I guess so. So you know what I feel about this episode? No. We haven't laughed enough. What no. do you think? Um, well, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, I guess it's not really very funny. No, it's you know, sad. A lot, of, a lot of these Bible stories are, are funny, funnier than this one. <laughs> <laughs> don't you think? I think so. But we can find some nugget. It's least. still it's still an interesting story, don't you think? It's very interesting. Yeah. To have all this um all this lying Intrigue. and this yeah. In, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, put on a goat's skin so yeah. that there's hair on right. my hands and yeah. it's like a little play going it's on. It's kind of a fun story. <laughs> uh, it, I think it works out better for Jacob than it does for Esau. For sure. Yeah. Okay everybody. Um that's it. What's the name of this one? What did we call this one? I think it's uh, called Rebecca and Jacob Deceive Isaac. Oh, and had we, had we said that, we would have just given it all away. That's right. Yeah. Sometimes we... Uh, we don't even say the title sometimes because we don't want to give it away. Right? <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, thanks for staying with us. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>